Truman Medical Centers serve more than 100,000 patients every year. It's the largest provider of inpatient and outpatient care in the area. Truman Medical Centers is two things. First and foremost, we are an academic training center for uh, tomorrow's physicians, nurses, um, pharmacists, all kinds of folks. The other thing is we're a safety net hospital, so we serve uh, many of the underserved population uh, in this community. Charlie Shields is the president and chief executive officer. His vision for TMC is to lead the way to a healthier Kansas City. The number one determinant of uh, health status is your wealth, and the number one determinant of wealth is your level of education. So, you know, even though it may seem a little odd sometimes for a, a hospital CEO to be involved, so involved in education issues, it makes perfect sense to me. So, you know, the, the greater the level of wealth, the improved health, and we do that through education, and certainly MCC has a key role to play. Before he was a CEO, Charlie Shields was an MCC student. One instructor helped pave the way. The one that, that really stands out was a gentleman named Mel Aits. Mel taught the state and local government, uh, but during the spring semester he spent his time lobbying on behalf of the Community College District at the General Assembly in, in Jefferson City. And I, I remember very distinctly on the first day of class, uh, Mel would have everybody open up the textbooks and says, take a look at them, now shut them, I'm going to tell you exactly how government happens and it's not what's in that book. And I think that, among a few other things, uh, spurned me on to uh, a career in public service. Charlie spent 20 years in the Missouri General Assembly. After earning his associate degree from MCC, he went on to graduate from the University of Missouri, where he received both a bachelor degree in marketing and an MBA. I have always said that the quality of instruction I received at Longview, you know, if not exceeded, in most cases surpassed what I did in the rest of my undergraduate education at the University of Missouri. I still remember uh, probably more of those intro-level classes I had at Longview than I do the rest of my entire college career. Charlie now sits on the MCC Foundation Board. It was a great experience, uh, the time I spent at Longview, and it's still very, very meaningful to me the opportunity to give back, so that that's part of it. But the other part of it is really uh, understanding the impact that MCC has on the community and the business community. Uh, you know, being the CEO of Truman, uh, we have a number of graduates that work at this facility. I went from high school to MCC Blue River and Longview. I did my prerequisites there and then I went into my nursing program. It was great. It was perfect. In fact, more than 130 employees at Truman Medical Centers graduated from MCC. I guess you'd call me a non-traditional student because I was working full-time and had young children, was married, and Longview offered classes that would fit into my schedule. I know it's been great for my family. I also have two sons that both of them have gone to Longview and they received a quality education. I think what is, is particularly meaningful about MCC is to look at the number of students who are, for the first time in family history, are, are beginning a college career. Uh, that's very impactful. We're starting to see, you know, in the United States, this issue of affordability and student debt. Uh, my message to potential students, you know, think very, uh, very long before you incur thirty to forty thousand dollars of debt. Uh, in your undergraduate education, you may have more affordable opportunities out there, and MCC is certainly one of those opportunities. MCC works.